Wow, what an evening. Thank you all for being here and for your tremendous support. It's been an incredible honor for me to serve Manitoba for the past 23 years. And I'd like to thank you. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you who have given me the immense privilege. I have been a candidate for seven elections and I respect the will of the voters and today the voters have spoken. I want to thank the residents of the great constituency of Tuxedo. I have served the community for the last 23 years. It's my family, it's a place where my family have called home for generations. Moments ago, I called Wab Canoe to congratulate him on becoming the next Premier of Manitoba. Mr. Canoe, don't, and I don't always agree on everything, but like me, I know that he loves this province and he loves the people of Manitoba. And I wish him all the best and will make every effort in a smooth transition in the Premiership. This election was a very important one, and the historic nature of Mr. Canoe's victory must be acknowledged here this evening. Wab, I hope that your win tonight inspires a future generation of Indigenous youth to get involved in our democratic process, not just here in Manitoba, but right across the country. Wab, congratulations for that. So there are a few thank yous that I'd like to make this evening to our campaign co-chairs, to, uh, to Candace Bergen and to Joe Bova, to my campaign manager and friend, Marnie Larkin, and there are so many others who have played an integral role in this campaign. You know who you are, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you for being involved in this incredible campaign. To our team of candidates, to our volunteers and members, thank you for putting your trust in me and for stepping up to serve your community. I also want to recognize those who are not with us this evening and who have represented their communities very diligently over the course of the last number of years, those MLAs who were not re-elected tonight. My heart goes out to you, and I thank each and every one of you for rep representing your communities with dignity. Thank you so much for your service to Manitoba. And to our newly elected MLAs from all sides of the House, I offer special congratulations. I remember the excitement I felt when I first uh, was elected that night, and I hope you feel the same way. You have captured the optimism and the confidence of your community. Congratulations to each and every one of you this evening. We all know, those of us who have put our name on the ballot in the past, that we can't do this on our own. We can't do this without the support of our family. To Jason, to Victoria, to Tommy, who are here with me tonight, Thank you for always standing with me. Thank you for being there with me. We know that there has been some great times in the past 23 years, and there's been some challenging times, no doubt. But every step of the way, you have been with me, and I could not have done it without you. Thank you so much. Tonight, I stand before you feeling honored to have served as your Premier. Together, we have been able to accomplish so much in just under two years. We have faced unprecedented challenges, including a global pandemic, the unjust war in Ukraine, and challenging economic times. 
yet we were able to move Manitoba forward. We implemented the largest personal income tax cuts in Manitoba history. We made our province... We made our province more competitive. We made significant advancements in economic reconciliation with Indigenous communities. We brought the budget back to balance while making historic investments in health care, in education, and in social services. Our progressive conservative government has set up our province for great success. Now, I have served in opposition in the past, so I understand the fundamental role that opposition plays in our democracy. As we head to the other side of the House, I can tell Manitobans that the team of PC MLAs that you elected tonight will keep fighting for you, and we will hold the new government's feet to the fire. Friends, it is with a heavy heart tonight that I am announcing that I will be stepping down as the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Manitoba. And I look forward to meeting with caucus and the party executive to prepare the path forward from tonight. And I look forward to working with the party to ensure a smooth process is in place to replace me as your leader. It has been the honor of my life. Serving the people of Manitoba with the many roles that I have held over the years. And I thank all Manitobans from the bottom of my heart for giving me the privilege to serve as the first women premier in this beautiful province of ours. Thank you so much tonight.